Hi students, let us continue with the primitive data types. So in the previous video, I explained about the uh, integer data type and the ranges that are uh, for uh, different integer data type, short int, long int, and the signed and unsigned int. So, and the, I also explained about the character data type, the signed character and the unsigned characters and what are the control strings and the range and the size of the character data type. Now, let us see the floating point data type. Actually, this floating point data type uh, is mainly used for, it is used to store real numbers whereas integer data type is used to store the whole numbers and coming to the floating point data type it is used to store the real numbers that is decimal point numbers decimal point numbers so that's why we are representing the range as 3.5 1.7 exponential 3.4 e 1.1 e exponential like that so it is floating point data type is used to store real numbers uh, like decimal point numbers okay so actually the for uh, if you take for six digits of accuracy if you want to take the six digits of accuracy means after the decimal point uh, you can go for the float float is used so if you are using the uh, six digits of accuracy you can go for the float suppose if you are using uh, for 12 digits of ac accuracy you want up to 12 digits of accuracy for the floating point number you can go for the double means the data type you have to be used as double means for 12 digits of accuracy suppose if you are if you want more than for more than 12 digits of accuracy 12 digits of accuracy then you go for the data type long double more than 12 digits of accuracy if you want for the value then you can go for the long double so the size so if the size of the for float is only 4 that's why we are using only 6 digits of accuracy and the double size in bytes is it can go for up to 8 bytes so you can go for 12 digits of accuracy and the long double size should be in 10 bytes so that's why more than 12 digits of accuracy and this will be the ranges of this floating point data types and the control strings that are used for the floating point data types for float we will use percentile f for double we go for percentile lf and for long double we go for the percentage capital l f so these are the different floating point data types that are used in the program float double long double so whenever you want to store the real numbers then you prefer the floating point if you are using the whole numbers then you go for the integer data type so based on the programmer requirement you can choose different data types based on the usage now let us see one example for all these uh, three data types primitive data types so let's see the program so in this program we are using some one function that is a size of function so this is a size of function uh, in c language is used to find the uh, memory space memory space allocated for each c data type so here we are using some data types so uh, this size of function is used to allocate the it is used to find how much memory space is allocated for each data type now let us see the program first hash include stdio dot h i am also including hash include limits dot h because i am using the size of function so those functions will be present in limits dot h now coming to int main so int main means the return type you have to be right because uh, the return type should be integer value now i am declaring the data types int is a data type variable a semicolon character b float c double 
D. So I take uh, four data types I have taken int character float double and four variables a is integer data type and b variable is character data type c variable is a floating data type and d variable is the double data type now I am writing the printf functions printf storage size of int data type so first data type I want to be print so everything will be internally stored as an integer uh, so that's why i have taken as a percentile d and right calling the function size of so what is the use of the size of size of function will use it to find the memory space allocated to each data type how much memory space will be allocated to each data type so i want size of a means the memory allocated to the int of variable a again printf so for all the data types write the same step storage size of character data type percentile d slash and goes to the new line next line so that is the size of i want the b character printf storage size storage size of float data type float data type percentile d and here i am writing a uh, size of c data type again printf storage size of double data type double data type percentile d slash new line size of d double okay and here you have to write the return zero because i had used the int main the return type of main is integer return zero close the main so this is a program so now what will be the output for this program so here i am uh, printing the size of each data type the uh, memory allocated to each data type so according to the previous tables whatever i have written here it indicates the size of the bytes okay so now the output of the size of a is the output is storage size of int data type is for integer the data type size is 4 bytes so in the same way storage of character data type is 1 will be appeared and the storage of float data type is 4 will be get the, the size the memory size allocated to float data type is 4 and the storage for the double data type it displays 8 8 bytes it stores the 8 byte so this is a program how you are just it reading the uh, printing the memory space allocated for each data type for int 4 bytes character 1 byte float 4 bytes and double 8 bytes so this is about the primitive data types so let's uh, void is just simply uh, a data type that uh, which doesn't return any value suppose void main void main means it doesn't return any value the function does not return any value so that is about the void and coming to the derived data types those derived data types or pointers structures uh, unions so those uh, arrays those will be uh, i will be explained in whenever we are discussing about the topics pointers arrays structures and unions and uh, one more data type that is a fourth data type that are used in the c language is enum data type that i explain in the next video thank you